Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I wanted to do just a quick, uh, very brief impressions video on The Division. Uh, this is a new Tom Clancy game. It's a third-person shooter with RPG elements, um, and has a, a it's supposed to have like a, unit, a Unity kind of thing going on, almost like Destiny-ish, like a quasi-MMO feel. Um, so... I was really, really hyped about this game, and luckily I was able to get into the alpha, and now I'm able to talk about it, because with the beta, um, the non-disclosure agreement, uh, they said, is, is waived on this one, so you can show videos and talk about it and pictures and stuff. So, it reminds me a lot of Watch Dogs. Uh, I don't think that's really a bad thing, but it's also kind of an underwhelming thing to some, in a way. I know a lot of people had seen Watch Dogs and went, wow, this looks amazing, and then it came out, and they had dumbed the graphics down, and they didn't like some of the, the gameplay mechanics. It sort of reminds me of that. They did dumb the graphics down a bit, but it still looks very good. I would say the atmosphere and the backgrounds and stuff look nicer than the character models thus far. But the gameplay definitely reminds me of it. There's like a cover system, almost like Gears of War, but not nearly as fast. A little more clunky, which I don't really like as much as like Gears of War. But it's a third-person shooter over the shoulder. You get new weapons, you get modifications for your guns. I'm not sure exactly what they're going to change from the beta to the final release. Um, there's like a hub that you can go into, like your base, and you can do missions or get missions, buy things from vendors, um, restock your character, sell things, etc. And uh, you, I'm not 100% sure if you can see people in there or if it's just your own base. It might be your own base, but then once you get outside, um, it's pretty much you versus the computer opponents finding missions and things like that, and then you can group up with friends and do either, you know, PvE missions or go into a place called the Dark Zone, which is PvP, if you want it to be. You can also help people. How the Dark Zone works is it's an area where you can kill AI opponents or real people, but if you kill AI opponents, you have a chance of picking up contam contaminated gear that you can't use because it's contaminated. So what you have to do is find a extraction site within the dark zone. There's a few of them that I found, at least. And you light up a flare, and then everyone knows that you are calling the helicopter. The helicopter comes, you take your pack of whatever contaminated goods you found and put on the helicopter, and that takes time for A, the helicopter to come, and B, the helicopter to take it away. And at that moment, people can attack you and steal your goods, or they can just hang out with you and put their stuff on, on the helicopter as well. So it's like depends on if you feel like working together or just trying to t be an asshole and take out everyone and steal their shit. Um, pretty cool. It feels um, definitely very team oriented. I think it's four people a team. Don't quote me on that. I don't know if that's going to change, but I think currently it's four people in one group. And uh, I just I like it. And if I would give it some kind of a grade, um, though that's kind of arbitrary, I would probably say like a seven and a half. I like it. It didn't blow me away the way I was hoping it would have, and that's just because, and just like Destiny did to me. When I played Destiny, I was like expecting a lot, and I, I guess I, I did that to myself with these few games I was really looking forward to on the Xbox One because I really like playing with friends and multiplayer stuff online. They seem to have chopped this up in terms of the multiplayer so far. So, as I said, you can go in the main areas with your friends and play like regular, you know, PVE missions, and then you go in the dark zone and do PVP stuff. I kind of was hoping it was more like people are just running around all over the place, and if you run into someone real, you run into someone real, and if you don't, you don't, but it, it seems segmented, and I didn't like that too much, um, and I was hoping for a little more of an integration with that, but overall, it's a cool game. The atmosphere is good. Um, they definitely have to add, I mean, it's a beta, obviously, so they definitely have to add more stuff. The bad guys you kill all sort of look similar so far. Um, some of them have like flamethrowers and stuff, so they can look a little different. But for the most part, there's a lot of repetition, um, but that's probably just because it's a beta. There's one mission in the beta, and then there's a couple side quests you can do. Um, you can only go up to level 8. And then there's Dark Zone, where you PvP. There's Dark Zone levels that you gain from killing rogue people or from killing other AI that is, you know, wants to kill you. Um... And then you lose levels if you go rogue and you kill people and steal their stuff, which Brian did um, on my team just to be a jerk. And he was like, oh, I'm so sorry, because then we both got killed and my level goes down in the dark zone. So not like your main character level 
but your dark zone level, which changes, and then you can buy things from a different vendor depending on your dark zone level, if you can use it, and then how much money and dark zone points you have or whatever. So it almost has like a, um, a segregation feeling to it in regards to what you can do and spend on the outside of the dark zone and then what you can do on the inside. I don't know how much that's going to change or how much that's going to meld together. But overall, it's a pretty cool game, and I did have some fun moments. I didn't capture a ton of footage, though most of the stuff I captured is is sort of what you're going to see anyway. I captured like two minutes of it, so I'm going to put that at the end of the video if you wanted to stay tuned and see that. But um, so far, I have, I have the game pre-ordered with a bunch of stuff I had returned a while back to the, to the store, and uh, I had the special gold edition because it comes with the, the game, which is normally $60, <clears throat> excuse me, but it also comes with the expansion pass, which is usually like another 40 or 50 and that's going to include like all the you know season pass expansion crap. And I think it came with some extra like um, like outfits or guns or something. And and that that pass cost a hundred. And then I think for like you know with the the main game. And then I think for like a hundred and the twenty or forty, you get like a stupid I don't know wrist watch or some crap from the game. And it's like this is dumb. But um, it definitely has a, a kind of interesting, cool sci-fi feeling. I did wish that they went darker with it. It seems like they went kind of lighthearted for a game based on the apocalypse and. You know, the contamination breaking out and killing people and, you know, post-apocalyptic. It's it definitely lighthearted in a way, and I, I kind of don't like that. I really wanted them to go a little more um, darker and scarier in a sense. But I do like that feeling with friends where you feel like you have to watch each other's back, kind of like Army of Two-ish, and, you know, escape and hide and stuff. So that's pretty cool. But I would say check it out. Um, I'm glad I got to play the beta. I'm on the fence in terms of purchasing it. But I'm going to see what my friends do and uh, how some of the reviews play out. But overall, that's my impressions of The Division. Uh, as I said, I played on Xbox One. I uh, played a few hours today and a couple hours the other night uh, with Timmy and then with Brian today. And uh, it's pretty cool. I, I mean, I, I was trying to like, it's definitely loot oriented. It's definitely mission based, but there also is a lot of like, you, you could tell people are going to grind and want to get loot. Um, I just hope they they pick up where Destiny left off in certain areas. Like I saw there's a matchmaking system, so that's cool. Um, I hope they kind of run with the idea, but make it their own and sort of expand upon it, so to speak. So here's a couple clips, and thanks guys for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. And let me know how the uh, camera quality is. Be good. Quartermaster's your man. You'll find him just inside the gate. Can I get a stretch at the end of the dock? <laughs> 